Have you ever wondered why genome editing technologies are drawing so much attention these days? They are not just the latest buzzwords in the science community, but represent a revolutionary approach to understanding and manipulating our genetic makeup. The core of these technologies lies in the complex process of DNA repair. You see, when our DNA experiences a break, it typically repairs itself through mechanisms like non-homologous end joining or homology directed repair. These processes involve intricate interactions between proteins and DNA strands, eventually leading to the repair or, in some cases, mutations. Genome editing technologies cleverly exploit these natural mechanisms. By harnessing the power of these DNA repair processes, scientists can introduce specific modifications to our genes. This opens up a world of possibilities from treating genetic diseases to improving crop yields. So the key to genome editing lies in our understanding of DNA repair. But how does this process work? To comprehend genome editing, we must first unlock the secrets of DNA repair. The nucleus of our cells is a world of its own, where the DNA, the blueprint of life, is constantly under attack, leading to breaks in its double-stranded structure. It's a microscopic battlefield, but fear not, our cells are equipped with two primary strategies to mend these breaks, non-homologous end-joining, or NHEJ for short, and homology-directed repair, known as HDR. Let's delve into the intricacies of these processes. Imagine a break in the DNA strand. In comes the NHEJ pathway, a bit like a hasty builder. Q heterodimers, tiny molecular scaffolds, latch onto the broken DNA ends, calling upon a team of repair proteins. However, in their haste to fix the break, these proteins may cause the strands to undergo end resection and misaligned repair leading to the introduction of insertion and deletion mutations, or indels. These indels can cause frameshift mutations and potentially result in gene knockout, shutting down the gene completely. On the other hand, HDR is the meticulous architect of DNA repair. In the initial phase of HDR, proteins known as RAD51 bind to the broken DNA ends. These proteins recruit accessory factors that direct genomic recombination with homology arms on an exogenous repair template. This process bypasses the matching sister chromatid, enabling the introduction of precise gene modifications. It's a more calculated and strategic approach to mending the DNA, minimizing errors and ensuring the integrity of our genetic material. In essence, while NHEJ is quick and efficient, it's also prone to errors due to its rapid and somewhat haphazard approach. HDR, though slower, is more precise, ensuring the faithful transmission of our genetic information. So why is all this important? Well, understanding these DNA repair mechanisms provides the foundation for genome editing technologies. By exploiting these processes, scientists can precisely edit genes opening up endless possibilities in the realm of genetic engineering. Now armed with knowledge of DNA repair, we can explore how genome editing technologies exploit this process. Harnessing the power of DNA repair, genome editing technologies have revolutionized our approach to genetic manipulation. One such technology is zinc finger proteins or ZFs, which are naturally occurring DNA binding domains. Remarkably, they can be assembled in a modular fashion to target specific sequences in our DNA. But how does it work? Well, each zinc finger domain recognizes three base pairs of DNA. When these ZF domains are fused with a protein called foci endonucleus, we get a programmable site-specific nucleus. In simpler terms, it's like a pair of molecular scissors that can cut DNA at a specific location. Now let's move on to another fascinating player in the field of genome editing transcription activator-like effectors, or TAILS. Much like ZFs, TAILS are also DNA-binding domains. However, they recognize only one base pair of DNA. By combining them with the foci endonucleus, we get another powerful tool to edit DNA. But the list of genome editing technologies doesn't end here. Let's take a look at a microbial marvel, the Cas9 nucleus from the CRISPR adaptive immune system. This enzyme is guided to specific DNA sequences via its guide RNA. This guide RNA 
directly base pairs with the DNA target with a protospacer adjacent motif or PAM helping to direct where the Cas9 enzyme makes its cut. In an era where genetic engineering is no longer a thing of science fiction, these tools are not just groundbreaking, they're game-changing. By generating programmable site-specific nucleuses, these technologies provide us with the means to modify DNA with unprecedented precision. With genome editing technologies, we're not just observing the genetic code, we're actively rewriting it. Welcome to the future of genetics.